Okay, here's a tutorial on doing an alternative type of uh, fade to your uh, tune. Uh, instead of doing a volume fade, I'm going to do a, a fade to a reverb. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is using um, a, a pre-fader send. Uh, really easy to do in Logic. I'm going to set it up. You can do this in any DAW, but uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, uh, the technique here. So I've got my uh, mix here. It's pretty simple. Um, just I have one bus send right now going to a, a space designer. Uh, so most of the instruments are, I've got a little room sound on them all, already. Uh, the technique here is I'm going to uh, swipe across all these tracks and create another bus. And I'm going to go to, um, I'll just use bus 15 just for this exercise. I'm going to option click and send a full signal on all those buses. And then I'm also going to make them uh, pre-fader. And they turn green in Logic. That's how you know you've got a, um, a pre-fader send. So the concept of the pre-fader is that uh, the signal is going to be sent from these channels uh, irregardless of what happens uh, to these faders. So as the faders come down, uh, typically uh, in a uh, post-fader situation, uh, the reverb comes down with it. In the pre-fader situation, as the faders come down, a signal still is going to be being sent uh, to this uh, pre-fader reverb and uh, that's how we're going to get this effect. So my uh, bus has been created over here. I'm going to call it pre-fader right now. Pre-fader verb. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a space designer. Something kind of big. Um, I'll just go to the uh, large indoor spaces and uh, use something like a big concert hall. It's perfect, kind of the effect that I want. This type of effect gives the illusion of uh, you moving away from the sound source uh, gradually or the sound source moving away from you off into the distance. It's kind of cool, pretty easy to do. I'm just going to pull this back maybe just a little bit. I'm just going to solo this uh, pre-fader reverb and uh, bring it down a little bit and just show you um, w what sound I have. So all these channels uh, that I'm sending are feeding into this uh, reverb. <laughs> And that's kind of the effect, the sound that I want anyway at the end, uh, but we still need to get rid of um, uh, the dry signal coming in. So here's how you do it. I'm going to turn on automation on all these tracks. I'm just going to choose a, a point here uh, to start doing the fade. And uh, for the sake of this, I'll start right here at uh, measure 61 and just create a node on all of the uh, instrument tracks. So individually fading the output of each of these channels. These are groups, so they're going to go down together. There we go. Okay, so I have a volume fade on each of the tracks. And I'm going to go back into the mixer now, and then on the uh, pre-fader reverb, I'm going to uh, turn on latch mode. That's going to give me a lane in the um, arrange window here. I'll just pull this down to the bottom so we can see it. I'll also uh, zoom in on this a little bit. So as my instruments are fading out, I want to gradually uh, fade this reverb in, and then I'm going to fade that out. So I'm going to start from zero, uh, pretty much get this quiet until I decide I want to bring it up, and then I'm going to taper it off and then bring it down, something like this. So made a few more adjustments and um, got the send uh, just about right here. I'll just take a listen to it. Yeah, there it is. All right. That's pretty cool.